there's a lot of acceptability with drinking. So the line for when it's a problem is much more shaded. It sounds like a simple question. How do I know if I have a drinking problem? But the problem with the question is the answer is different for different people. Your rock bottom may not be that you're sleeping under a bridge, under the freeway. It might be that your wife is having an argument with you or that you're about ready to have a divorce or you might lose your job. Alcoholism can be spotted by a wide variety of symptoms and at Insynergy, they have seen them all. Insynergy is a St. Louis-based alcohol and drug treatment program specializing in personally tailored, medically based, innovative solutions to addiction. If you feel like you can't go to sleep without drinking, you have anxiety about going to sleep, it could be that it's pointed out by somebody else whether it be your boss, your wife, your parents, your kids, or that you look over the past two weeks and you notice, I haven't had an evening that I haven't drank. People have defense mechanisms designed to make psychological pain go away. So what we see is a lot of denial, you know. No, I don't have a problem. Yeah, it's not really bothering me. You know, a lot of rationalization externalization, you know, I drink because of you. You know, if, if you weren't around, I wouldn't drink. They may be very well defended. They may not be aware that life is crumbling around them. Alcoholism makes everyday life a struggle, but unsupervised withdrawal from alcohol can be life-threatening. Once you're having physical withdrawal symptoms, your body is telling you, this is enough, this is a problem. Alcohol withdrawal can cause anxiety, insomnia, vomiting, nausea, depression, elevated blood pressure, weakness, shaking, seizures, and in severe cases, hallucinations. The pandemic certainly hasn't helped this either. It's easier to get alcohol because you can have it delivered to your house. It's easier to have a cocktail at lunch because you're not going somewhere, you're not checking in. In the United States, there are an estimated 16 million people with alcohol use disorder. Yet a recent study by Washington University in St. Louis finds only one in 10 who regularly see a doctor ever get treatment for alcoholism. So how do you know if you have a drinking problem? The answer is in the question. The minute that you even have to ask that question, then that's when you need to do it. If you have that battle inside your mind, then it's time to go at least find out where you need to be. If you're looking and suffering from the consequences of your drinking, there's hope to get through this, and you don't have to hit that rock bottom. Your consequences that you're experiencing at this juncture could be enough, and there's a way to get well. It's going to be work, it's gonna be hard, but the result of that or the, the payout from this is gigantic. For more information about Insynergy, including a no obligation free individual assessment, go to insynergystl.com. Reporting for Insynergy, I'm Paul Shankman, StorySmart Video News.